Hi everyone, welcome to the RPB Resonance Chemistry. Now we are discussing another important lecture in uh, palladium catalyzed reactions. Okay, now here we are discussing about uh, CSR rate advanced and diamond reactions. In that uh, specifically, so the new CC single bond formation palladium catalyzed reaction that is a still a cross coupling reaction. Still a cross coupling reaction. Here it is the definition. Palladium catalyzed cross coupling of organostanins with electrophiles. So organostanins with electrophiles such as uh, organic halides or triflates or uh, acid chlorides, acid chlorides, then it is called uh, like a still a cross coupling reaction, still a cross coupling reaction. So this is the general representation of a still a cross coupling reaction here Rx which is treated with the palladium uh, like a LN complex. Now here R dash uh, SN butyl three times or methyl three times, butyl three times or methyl three times. Now we will get the R R dash as a new CC bond formation function, new CC bond formation product. Okay. Now here this is the simplest representation of a still a cross coupling reaction, still a cross coupling reaction. Now here here R is equal to either aryl, allyl, vinyl, benzyl, alkyl, such groups, such type of groups. Okay. Now here R dash is equal to the in in this case of a still a carbonylation mainly R dash is equal to vinyl halides. Okay. So vinyl, sorry, not the halides. Vinyl like uh, stannous compounds, vinyls as well as aryl compounds so these two are it shown the more reactivity towards the like a still a cross coupling reaction so, so generally palladium ln couple uh, complexes are palladium pph3 taken four times palladium pph3 taken two times like acetonitrile two times palladium pph3 two times uh, benzonitrile two times cn taken twice so these are the like palladium complexes okay now the overall the reaction regarding to the palladium catalyzed coupling of organostanins with uh, electrophiles such as uh, alkyl halides or triflates or acid acid halides then it is called uh, still a cross coupling reaction since in general in organic halides or triflates is called still a cross coupling reaction but uh, carbon monoxide or acid chlorides it gives the corresponding uh, like a uh, uh, carbonyl compounds like uh, unsaturated carbonyl compounds such as uh, unsaturated carbonyl compounds so that is called still a carbonylation reaction so if it is possible i'll make the another video on still a as well as a uh, suzuki carbonylation reactions so they as their uh, mechanical pathways okay now however so this is the major uh, like a um, uh, simple representation regarding to the still a cross coupling reaction however it have it having the certain drawbacks that means a uh, certain reaction conditions uh, again uh, drawbacks of this still a coupling so now the first drawback is so organotanist organotin reagents are toxic in nature so the major drawback uh, here the tin compounds are uh, toxic in nature that is the major drawback major disadvantage now the second point here in the presence of uh, like a uh, stannous chlorides preparations so uh, now here sorry here the stannous uh, compounds preparation like a uh, stannous uh, vinyl stannous or uh, aryl stannous uh, and the reactions uh, are carried out uh, well ventilated hood presence carried out uh, under the well ventilated hood so otherwise it is not uh, possible to carry out these reactions okay whenever you having the well equipped uh, ventilated hoods then only we will proceed through the still a cross coupling reaction so so here this is the another requirement that is uh, another drawback for the simple laboratory reactions now the third one is so here the preparation of uh, like uh, vinyl halides reactions or aryl halides specifically vinyl iodide aryl iodide those are the very like uh, vigorous conditions uh, now here it requires uh, in the presence of a polar solvent it requires low temperature so this is also another drawback of the still a cross coupling reaction so this is the overall uh, topic regarding to the still a cross coupling now let us discuss the, some of the like a uh, mechanical pathway or a Coleman uh, cyclic pa pathway of the mechanism of uh, still a cross coupling reactions Okay, now here the catalytical loops uh, uh, proceeds through the four steps. Uh, those are uh, first one is uh, oxidative addition, so which are uh, already discussed. Oxidative addition. So second one, transmetallation. So transmetallation means uh, the alkyl groups are transferable from stannous group to palladium. That is uh, one metal to another metal. That is called uh, transmetallation. Third one, cis trans isomerization. Trans cis uh, isomerization. Okay, now the fourth one is called uh, like a reductive elimination reductive 
elimination. So these are the four steps which are in, used in the, like uh, which are involved in the like a catal catalytical loops of a still a cross coupling reaction. So generally the reaction proceeds like this. Here it is the palladium tetra coordinated compound. Now here so it undergoes the like a ligand dissociation manner. Now it gets a palladium L2. Palladium L2. So after that whenever we use the like uh, alkyl halide groups alkyl halide groups uh, now here it is the compound like a palladium Rx L2. So this is called uh, the increment of two units of oxidation state as well as coordination number. Now here palladium zero oxidation state here palladium two oxidation state. So the increment of oxidation state to two units and coordination number two units here coordination number two to four. So the increment of two units of oxidation state as well as coordination number then it is called oxidative addition. So this is the first step. Okay now in the second step here the transmetallation transmetallation okay followed by the Trans cis isomerization, trans cis isomerization takes place in the in the single step. It, these two are undergoes the same way. Okay, now here it uh, that that means uh, in the presence of R dash uh, uh, like a stannous butyl three times, stannous butyl three times. Here R dash will shifted from the stannous stannous to palladium will transferred from the stannous to palladium. That is called a uh, like a transmetallation. Now here palladium L two. Here or here it is the R dash. Okay. Now here uh, the elimination of group that is a uh, halides uh, eliminated with a uh, stannous compound is SNX butyl three times. Okay. So this is the simplest uh, like a uh, transmetallation step uh, followed by the some of the compounds are having the like a uh, stereogenic centers. So uh, sorry like a uh, uh, cis trans centers. And now here tr trans cis isomerization also takes place. Okay. So this is the like a uh, B and C steps. Uh, occurred at a second position. Now the finally what we will get uh, now here the elimination of R and R dash R and R dash this is the major product. Uh, so now we will get the our uh, our catalyst uh, as usually that is called a regeneration of our catalyst regeneration. Okay now here which is used in the so many cycles uh, which are used in the so many cycles that means uh, so many number of reactions are same catalyst. Okay so this is the simplest representation of a still a cross coupling uh, mechanism still a cross coupling mechanism so first one is oxidative addition so the last one is uh, d that is a uh, reductive elimination the, the decrease of uh, two units of oxidation state as well as uh, two units of coordination number then it is called uh, reductive elimination okay so here in the case of a uh, transmetallation so several groups are there like uh, or dash also maybe it is alkyl group so uh, th among those alkyls which one is a uh, transferred from stannous to palladium so that is called uh, like a uh, transferable groups uh, Transmetallation step it having the like a uh, several re selectivity several selectivity now I'll give the that selectivity of a uh, transmetallation step Transmetallation step now here the transmetallation reactivity order first of all it is a uh, alkyne groups alkyne groups then after alkenes then after aromatic compounds then after like RCH2 CH double bond CH that is called the allyl groups then after benzyl groups finally alkyl groups finally alkyl groups. so this is the like a uh, transmetallation order transmetallation order now however so the stannous group having the like a uh, alkyne as well as alkyl here uh, absolutely alkyne groups are transferred from stannous to palladium here it is the tra like a transferable group from uh, in a trans uh, transmetallation step is uh, alkyne is first over than that of alkyl okay now however so in case of uh, less reactivity of alkyls here in case of sn butyl taken three times that means n butyl taken through times like uh, r dash as well as r dash sn uh, like a uh, trimethyl trimethyl so in case of uh, alkynes or alkenes aryl compounds uh, here these butyl as well as methyl groups both are non transferable groups non transferable groups so uh, they cannot transfer from stannous to palladium so in case of uh, r dash is uh, above groups like uh, Alkynes, alkenes, aryls, benzoylic compounds, benzoylic as well as allylic compounds. So this is the major, uh, major selectivity of the still a, comp still a cross coupling reaction. Now let us discuss the, some of the problems regarding to the still a cross coupling with clear cut explanation. Now let us discuss some of the problem regarding to the still a cross coupling reactions. Okay. Now, however, so here yeah, the uh, key step is the transmetallation. That is the slow step. Okay. So in in previous cases, uh, the key step of the uh, still a cross coupling reaction is a uh, 
transmetallation that is the key step now here uh, that is first step uh, here stannous it having the like one is a vinyl group another one is butyl groups according to the our order so vinyl group is more transferable than that of the butyl group so that's why here these group uh, will transfer over the halides groups or triflate groups or acid halide groups now here which which occupies that place that means here it creates the new cc single bond uh, with the uh, vinyl compounds with the anil compounds that is the major product now here it creates the new cc bond over there new cc bond so now here it creates the new cc bond okay so now uh, th this is the first example now the second example it retains the stoichiometric chemistry if you will go through the z chemistry th then it retains the products also z so here it is the trans then retains the uh, trans chemistry also now here phenyl this is the compound now here these alkyl group which is uh, substituted by this tannous compound now here it creates the new cc bond it creates the new cc bond again they stays that retains their same say stereochemistry now here it is z here it is the e stereochemistry now this is the second product now however it, here also it creates the biaryl compounds with a uh, uh, like heterocyclic compounds also here it is benzene that is coo methyl okay now here it is a uh, uh, pyridine compound it is a pyridine compound so this is the third example so in case of a fourth example here it having the cyanide group or uh, cho group it is no it is a tolerable groups now here we will get the product uh, here cyanide triplet replaced by the our stannous methyl groups so then it is a, a, like a stannous methyl taken thrice here it is the triplet o tf so now we will get the same product uh, that is uh, benzene with the CHO, benzene with CHO, that is the fourth product. Now, in case of a fifth product, directly here it creates the new CC bond. Here it creates the new CC bond. Okay, so it seems to be hard. That is double bond. So, NH, AC, CO, O, methyl. Here both are acid as well as amine groups are, was protected by the, like acylated followed by the methyl groups. That is, a, one, one is then the form of esters, another one is a esteronylide groups. Okay, now here this is the fifth example. However, we will prepare the, like a trans dienes as well as a cis dienes uh, with the help of a still a cross coupling reaction from carbonyl compounds, from carbonyl compounds. So now here I would like to take the carbonyl compound. So in presence of uh, uh, two methyl carbonyl compounds, in presence of uh, like a uh, LDA. So first step, second step, uh, like it is a triplet, uh, triplet reagent. It uh, donates the triplet group. Now the third step, it is a H plus. That means hydrolysis reaction. So first of all, here LDA is large group. That's why here abstract the proton from less sterically less crowded side. Now here it creates the negative charge over here. That negative charge attack over there. The that ne negative charge will undergoes the ketoin alternatism. Now here it creates the C double bond C. Here it is O minus. That O minus will abstract the proton. Uh, will abstract the triplet group not the proton then it becomes O triplet O triplet so generally these these type of triplet groups are will treated with the SN methyl taken thrice uh, SIME3 now we will get the product like this methyl here it is the group okay now here it retains their stereo stance stereo chemistry here it is a uh, SI methyl taken thrice so stannous group is eliminated due to the still a cross coupling so stannous triplet groups uh, here it creates the new CC single bond new CC single bond now here it develops the new cc single bond so this is the like a uh, uh, cis dienes uh, cis dienes formation so generally i would like to change the just group uh, instead of ldm i would like to change the like uh, isopropyl diisopropyl n mgbr so second one is same reagents uh, ntf2 third one is h plus in presence of h2o in presence of uh, now we will get um, like a sterically more crowded side proton abstraction takes place here it is the OTF OTF same reagents in presence of like a, here the palladium compound palladium complex so here also same reagent we will get the like a trans dienes as a measure trans dienes here it is the trans dienes chemistry here it is the cis dienes chemistry so these are the sixth and the seventh examples now let us discuss some of the like a complicated examples regarding to the still a cross coupling
Okay, now let us look down to uh, another problem. So, uh, these are the uh, very easier problems, but uh, uh, structures are showing a very large. Okay, uh, there is no matter in the structures. Okay, now here uh, it is the allylic halide, so which is treated with uh, organotin reagent, phenyl as thanos. Uh, tributyl groups okay in the presence of a palladium catalyst palladium catalyst and only here it undergoes the like a uh, still a cross coupling reaction why because the stannous chloride stannous uh, alkylated stannous groups or uh, aryl stannous groups will treat it with uh, organo halides or triplets will use the cc bond new cc bond okay now however in case of uh, like a uh, Allylic positions uh, here it is the problem of uh, still regio selectivity. So now, however, the attack of a stannous group either the uh, like uh, this allylic position or this allylic position. Why? Because here, so whenever the elimination of a Cl group here creates the cation or a radical intermediate that will undergo the like a resonating form. So here it creates the both are possibilities. So, however, it overcomes uh, the general attack of a stannous organo stannous compound uh, at a sterically less crowded side. Sterically less crowded side why because now here it is more crowded it is less crowded we will get the product like this okay now here it is a phenyl that is the first product now let us go through the second one so here it is the uh, problem is large i think here it is the uh, uh, iodine group okay i, I missed out now problem is large but concept is very easier now here stannous compound halide both are eliminated now here it creates the new cc single bond so that means here it undergoes the intramolecular cyclization reaction intramolecular cyclization reaction okay now here uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, now here one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. Here it is the double bond group. Now the second position is methyl group with the above the plane. So then after one, two, three, uh, after the three, one, two, three. So here it is the double bond. Here it is the double bond. This is the product regarding to the ninth one. Okay. Now how about the final one? Here also stannous group. Here it is the triplet group. It it creates the same type of a product. Here it is the like a OH triple bond here it is the triple bond now we will get the product like this so here it is the group here it is the OTB yes OTB yes now here OH this is the product O triethyl silane triethyl silane with uh, their retention of uh, their uh, double bond okay now here uh, whatever the complications are like a large large number ring or whatever the like a uh, uh, Li, uh, like uh, all kinyl groups are present doesn't matter it gives the very simple reaction so heat undergoes the like intramolecular reactions also it use the intramolecular reactions also these are the best problems in still across coupling reactions thank you for watching